I do this for me. I do this for you. This is just as much personal for me as it is anyone. Let me tell you, I grew up in the Bible Belt of Texas. Religion was practically shoved in my face since I was a child, as I've mentioned before, but it was everywhere around me. Some of the world's biggest mega churches are in Texas and in the general South. And I was baptized, and this was all happening. We knew about climate change since the 70s, but we even further knew that it was getting worse, let's say, in the 2000s. And yet, it was business as usual. It's still business as usual. And so fast forward even further till now, and we know what's happening. It's evident all around us. And yet, people still persist to believe whatever they want to believe. It's really just it's really just a sad joke because I'll send this information to people. I will have a conversation about climate change. They ask me if I believe in God. We exchange numbers. I send them the most prominent information related to climate change at the moment to them. And I've been ghosted two, three, four, five, ten times. People are in so much, they can't even, so much denial, they can't even handle it. They can't even handle it. So we're going to watch a clip together, but first I want to brief you on a quick statistic. According to carbonbrief.com, on our current trajectory of business as usual, the world will likely exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius between 2026 and 2042 in scenarios where emissions are not rapidly reduced with a central element of between 2030 and 2032. And I'm not certain whether they're including the 64 self-reinforcing feedback loops or volcanoes erupting or nuclear war, or any other things that can contribute more, much more, or the Arctic melting to climate change. And those are just to name a few. But we'll likely breach 1.5 in the next few years if only temporary. The 2C threshold will likely be exceeded between 2034 and 2052. So with the median year of 2043. So what this is telling you is that you have, what that means in layman's terms is you have, you have a tumor. And right now you're experiencing body aches, heart palpitations, headaches, general, just the usual kind of stuff but it's a little bit more intense. You know something's wrong. But pretty soon we're about to go into straight paralysis. We're about to be incapacitated. You're waiting for a train. You know where you hope this train will take you. But you can't know for sure. And it doesn't matter. So let's see what our other leaders, the ones that shoved things down my throat and fired me and never gave me a bonus on my efforts and ghosted me and all these lovely things that the virus such as us likes to do. Yeah, I'm a complete and utter atheist. I subscribe to the ideals in Buddhism, but I do not have the right to call myself a Buddhist. I like Vipinyasa meditation, and I like the Eightfold Way, and the path, the way, the Dharma. I think those are excellent examples to live by. However, let's watch this clip together and see what our leaders think. Calling on the world's faithful to join the fight to solve the climate crisis. Forty religious leaders gathered at the Vatican on Monday to add their voice to the growing chorus calling for world leaders to take real action to tackle the crisis. The Catholic Pope, Pope Francis, called the meeting but preferred to let others speak. I call on all young people, regardless of their religion, to be ready to fight against any action that may damage the environment or increase the climate crisis. Too late. The action's the already been done for the past 50 and years. And many spoke of the need to fuse our rational and spiritual sides. Oh yeah, we should have did that like 100 years ago. Faith and science, people of different faith, can transform fear in hope. 
anxiety in confidence, inaction into action. Others highlighted the responsibility religion confers on humanity. That the water is the father, the air is the teacher, and earth is our common mother. No shit, Rajwa. Just as we don't dishonor our mother, father, and teacher, why would we dishonor these gifts from our creator? We must address the unequal economic systems and the human impacts of climate change. Though they aren't political leaders, the president of the upcoming UN Environmental Conference says they have an important role. There is a very unique voice that uh, religious leaders have when they talk to other world leaders, the leaders of governments. No, uh, and drive a big escalate uh, with your two kids and have a cross the in the back world, of your the scientific world to of be your amplified to tell world vehicle. leaders they have to act to protect our planet and our people. Throughout his papacy, Pope Francis has supported environmental action. In 2015, he published his second encyclical, Laudato Si, in which he called for swift and bold action to tackle the climate crisis. Last week, he virtually attended the Youth for Climate conference in Milan, backing the work of 400 young delegates as they drafted proposals for the UN summit. Meanwhile, outside conferences, a growing protest movement is adding its own pressure. A consensus has been building that real action must come out of the Scotland summit. And to that, we now have the support of the world's leading spiritual figures. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Vatican City. Nope. Too late. It's just too goddamn late. It's pathetic. The amount of disappointment on my face. If, if you could feel the disappointment in me, you could literally bake a cake with it. There's so much energy in that. I don't know what I'm saying. So yeah, I just gotta see, I just gotta wait and see it, it out in 2030. I have to see our world completely destabilize and I can I can for all this years this pent up years of frustration and rage for religious people I can go in their face finally as if they've grinned in mine for so many years just grinning in my face I can go grin at, revenge is a great motivator guys if you ever been in a relationship or job and you want to get back use that energy and yeah, I use you use you should use that energy too. Everyone with a fucking cross around their neck, walking around town. I want to fucking curb stomp you. That's how I feel. Okay, maybe I should get some rest. Thanks for all the subscribers. Stress out that like button, and go for a walk. Maybe I'll try to recycle today. Talk to you later. Bye. Because democracy basically means. Government by the people, of the people, for the people. But the people are retarded.